What's up everybody? Today we're gonna model a chain in less than one minute. I'm gonna add the mesh, the toes, I'm gonna press F9, I'm gonna reduce the major segment to 30, I'm gonna reduce the inner radius a little bit to 0.75, then I move to the top view, I'm gonna enable X-ray, I select half of the torus, press G, press X, move it a little bit, I'm gonna add an empty, let's add a single arrow, so we know the direction, we select the chain, we add a array modifier, we select the object offset, we want our empty, so enable the object offset, and we bring the first copy inside the other ring, and you can have as much as you want. And now, as you have this as offset, you only have to rotate this in the X axis. And now you have the model ready. Let's see if we can give it a nice shader in less than another minute. Select the object, smooth shading. I also want my model to be a bit smoother. So, and I'm going to adjust actually the offset here because I want the chain to almost touch each link. Then I'm gonna enable the shader editor. I'm gonna create a new material going to the Material Preview node and I'm gonna bring this down to a dark material it's too dark, I want that to be metallic but not too um, black I'm gonna then add a Noise node and I'm gonna add the Bump node I'm gonna make it very small reduce the stretch, I also need to Add a mapping node, so texture coordinates and mapping. And we use the object. Now it's uniform. I'm gonna also reduce the strength of the bump. And it's already a decent result. Let's remove some paint in some of the links of the chain. We add another principal shader. And let's visualize this first. I'm going to have a mix shader and I need a noise texture node to define what's one material and what's the other. Okay, I actually need also the mapping parameter. I want this to be much larger. I want detail on it. Maybe some distortion, not too much. And I also need to, to add a color ramp here to define how much is the contrast and I'm going to use the same actually noise as a bump and I want that to be inverted and the color can go back to something darker than white but still very white I'll make it metallic as the other one and now I have a slightly ruined chain with some coating removed in some of the uh, rings and all of the rings are absolutely procedural so you can add as many rings as you want if you enjoyed this tutorial please hit the like button, if you dislike this video please hit the dislike button twice, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time, ciao!